everyone. This is Jennifer from Junk Journals by Jen, where journaling is about the journey. Today we're going to make some polygon pockets for our, our bird journal. We're going to be making them in two sizes, a large one and a small one. And these are great to go into a journal or to stand alone. They're also wonderful gift card envelopes for the holidays. You can just stick a little gift card in there and put it in a stocking, um, use some Christmas paper maybe. Really cute. Okay, first of all, let's set these aside. It's best if you use double-sided paper to get the effect that you want. Um, and I picked this paper out for our journal. It's teal on one side and flowers on the other. And then you can make them any size you want. We're gonna make it a six by six inch one. Um, that way it'll fit into the journal okay. So we're simply going to cut this down. Okay. All right. Whoops. Get this straight. All right. Now we're going to cut it. I'll show you what to do if you don't get it quite straight. We can fix that. Take this off. All right. I'm going to go to the 12 here. All right, put this away. Now, <clears throat> these are so easy, you're going to be amazed. You just take this and fold it over in half so the two corners are touching and then give it a good crease. Use the bone folder for that. All right, now if you look at it and you see any um, of the other side showing, just trim that off. That means you're not perfectly square. And this is how you get a perfect square. There, now we've got a perfect square. All right. Next thing we're going to do is round the corners of the two sides that are folded down. Try that again. Hmm. All right, let's trim that up a little bit. It didn't make quite a great round there. Can always fix things. All right. Now, this is so easy. You're just going to take, um, turn it up this way, fold this corner that's rounded down to the bottom, and crease again. Now fold it back up. Take one side over and fold it up to the top crease. You wanna fold it where the point is and up to the top crease. Okay, and then do the same thing with the other side. Fold it over and up to the top crease. Use your bone folder to get a good crease on these. That's the most important thing. All right, and then this folds down and that is the construction of it. You're going to take your glue and glue both sides down. One side. Two sides. And then put a little do dollop of glue here on the top and we'll fold that down as well. All right. Now you can um, 
leave these the way they are or you can embellish them. I've got a little embellishment here I made already to go on this one for our journal. A little bird and it says sky high. So let's glue that on. Love this art glitter glue. Holds so wonderfully. All right, now you've got one. Isn't that cute? So we've got, um, <clears throat> we can do the same thing with a large size piece of paper. Let's try a 12 by 12 piece of paper just to show you again how simple it is. Okay, so we've got a 12 by 12 piece of paper. The hardest part is getting the um, this off of here. Whoops, without ri ripping it. Okay, now again, you fold in down to the bottom corner and then get a crease and if you're not perfectly square trim anything off that you've got there okay that looks good I'm gonna use the half inch to round this one. We're gonna round both corners here. Okay. Now, fold your um, top down to the base. Good crease. And then open that back up, fold your side up, starting where the point is here. Now, I usually try to fold the large ones over before I get a really good crease on them, because sometimes they're persnickety. You can tell more if it's not exactly even on these. So let's check that. See, that's a little uneven. There we go. Get a good crease. This is really thick um, scrapbook paper, so it's a little easier to work with if it's thinner, but this works. All right, now fold your sides down. And glue them. A little bit of glue here on the top flap. All right, there we've got another one. So easy, and you can make several of these and use them for stocking stuffers. Um, here's what we've got right now. We made two in just a couple of minutes. Isn't that awesome? All right, um, let's find a spot to put it in our journal, the, one, the little one we made. a good spot for this would look pretty good right there oh really cute on that paper that's that's the ticket right there just stick that there and then you can put, um, you know, whatever you want inside of it. Got a little tag here. You can put tags or just anything. That's it. That's a finished product. Um, let's. That's all for today. 
come visit me at my Etsy shop, which is linked below. As always, remember, journaling is about the journey. Take care until next time. Bye.